Hey everybody, welcome back to another Lion Play Slay the Spire. No A20 wins this week, Jables. Aww. But we're in a good rhythm. Third floor losses, that's a step up, dude. So I'm gonna keep that rhythm, we're gonna start with the daily. Ooh, it looks like a, a bit of a tricky daily. I see why. Because certain future means that nobody's getting variants based on path. And Night Terrors means your HP is obviously scary. We'll see what Heirloom gives us. So we might want to go with a block-heavy deck, just because we're, we know we're going to lose probably like 40 max HP by the end of the run. But, you know, everybody's got the same choices. I know Certain Future is not necessarily a well-liked... Uh, I'll, I'll just take one here. But uh, Certain Future is not necessarily a well-liked... Um, Modifier, but I like it on dailies because it means that people that are smarter than me when it comes to score in Slay the Spire don't just get to win automatically as a result of their increased research and merit. <laughs> it basically makes it easier for dummies like me to, you know, stay with the pack. Uh, no, I'm trying to think. Was it worth? I think it was worth dashing there. Because two strikes is worth more than a dash on damage, but. I mean, we got the block out of it for free, obviously, so... Um, the other... Th the tricky thing... I mean, this would do one damage, but what's the point of hitting him for six when he's got six block? Um, the tricky thing is you also almost always, as the Silent, need to add offense early just to be capable of, like, killing elites. So we got to keep that in mind. Dash was a pretty good first pickup, I think. Um, and uh, to be honest, I think Blur is also lovely. Uh... <laughs> I'll go to 50, uh, I'll go to 45%. Okay, fair enough. And I like Anchor. Anchor plus Blur could give us some good stuff here. We really didn't lose very much there, to be honest. Okay, so we're going to roll 15 block over. We're probably going to use zero of it. But it's the thought that counts or something. Um... If we don't have to take one damage, I know we have Tori, so like instead of taking four damage, we'll take, you know, one. But if we don't have to take one, why take one? This HP could, is something I'm learning from, you know, these A20 runs, but why, why, uh, why give up HP that's unnecessary to give up in the first place? Uh, we already have enough block, but our best attack also carries block. I think we got a, a good, solid setup right now. To be fair to the scores, they were not losing scores. They were just low scores. Now, low scores could mean lots of people lose, or it could mean that everybody wins, but just with a relatively similar score. Now, this is maybe our first, like, real tricky one. I think I'd be most inclined to take Terror, but I think depending on what else shows up, Deadly Poison could be pretty valuable as well. Um, we don't have to dash. I do want to see what our attack would be. Die, die, die. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is only 13 damage once, but to all enemies. And Predator is also, like, very good, but... Well, if we already have enough block, I think I would rather just hit you for enough to kill you next turn. And it shouldn't be impossible for us to get to full block. In fact, it won't even really be difficult for us to get to full block. We want these perfects. These perfects are, you know, huge score enablers for us. If that's the case, we have to play it like this. We could have vulnerable you, I guess, and change the game, but I think we're going to do it. And just because the run so far this could be close. Never mind. Just because the run uh, could be easy. Dude, I love burst. It is hard to not take bouncing flask here, though. That's some really good cumulative damage. I actually think that might be the right call for us here. I love Bur I, And this is another reason that I was thinking about it, is that right there. And I actually completely think, like, all that attack is gorgeous here as well. And then let's cut uh, a basic strike out of the deck. 
I love it. Um, it doesn't have to be a hard daily to be good practice for A20. All it needs to do is incentivize focus. You know, and, and good decision making. And dare I suggest also a little slow play. So I do think bouncing flask, particularly I was thinking against single enemies, is going to be like a, a really good option for us. Um, what else we got kicking around back here? Can't kill you. So I think we'll uh, just cycle these two out. Playing this defend only saves us one damage. I know it seems funky. So I think instead we play it like this. Because of the way that Tori works, we would have only blocked one extra damage, which is not useless, but for one energy is obviously not what I'm hoping to get. Um, we don't really care if we play Blur, because we're not going to get the full block anyway. So I, any two defends are fine. We have to play that, and then you just play your two defends. You take one damage. This guy's dead next turn. It was not a good fight um, in terms of like not taking damage, but taught us we might want some more AOE. I think a backstab for some guaranteed damage is, is useful here. Matrushka for the future. Matrushka for the future. Doesn't, doesn't work at all, so I apologize for that. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Bouncing Flask, well worth it. Then the question just becomes, what's more valuable? Noxious or Dagger Spray? And I think it's gotta be Dagger Spray. Noxious, I think, is too slow to matter here when we only need to hit this guy one more time anyway. Easy enough. I think we got a really good thing going here. Definitely think a Catalyst can work well here as well. Um, I think a lot of people probably have a good thing going here. And I think Catalyst has to be your first get, but you definitely also want Bouncing Flask. I mean, you want a lot here. You know, you want Neutralize to be upgraded for sure. Blur is actually pretty useful here. I'll I would play a Blur over a Strike. Not that it mattered, I guess, in the end, but... Just cooler to kill somebody with poison. It's like you got time to walk away or something. Um... I think a Sucker Punch for more weakness is good. And, you know, I, w I will remove another basic strike. Thanks for the ask. It's been a really good, pretty easy first floor so far. Um, we can definitely do this. This. and I mean, you're dead. That is the easiest fight of all time. Take an escape plan. Alright, so we're going up against the Guardian. We shouldn't have to... I'm just thinking. I, I don't think we're going to have to rest. So I, I felt like that was a prudent option for us. We definitely want our cumulative poison stuff to get out there ASAP. Um, do we need to make him vulnerable? I actually think our first turn, we're strong enough to not worry about any form of vulnerability. Um, for certain. And then once we get this on him... Dude, it might... People, I think, they always want to see the Catalyst one-hit KO. Like, as soon as you play Catalyst, he's dead. That's not what I'm worried about. If I could get him to 30 poison, he's on a small enough timer to not threaten me at all, basically. So, there you go. He's on 30 poison. He can't do anything. We get to save all our potions, even, on top of this. Okay, you know, we get to save almost all of our potions on top of this. <laughs> what is six poison is not worth anything on the next floor anyway. Don't make me freaking laugh, dude. Okay, what do we like? We like to get free block. Didn't happen here. We really, really want uh, the flawless. So if we're not going to kill him, which obviously we're not... Then we're going to remove all of our non-blocks to get blocks. You know, this could be the difference of a few, like, thousand points of score. So, I ain't, a, I ain't above making sure we get everything going there. And we did use two potions, but hey, we got the flawlesses. 
Definitely, a, you know, if we have draw, bullet time is our play. Wraith form is a lot better for getting perfects, but losing the dex is very scary for me. Bullet time seems like the right play, and I do think we need energy, even at the cost of giving enemies a little extra strength. Hey, Gooznak has blessed the run. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Night Terrors does not lose you HP. I'm dumb. I I, I had it confused with uh, Terminal. Luckily, I didn't rest anyway, because resting would have cost us maximum HP. So what do we, like, specifically what cards would benefit us right here? There's a few, like, semi-obvious options, I think. I think we'll just smack you. Uh, Well-laid plans to be able to hold a catalyst until it's most prudent, I think, is a big one. I don't think infinite blade. I don't, I don't think any of those matter that much. I'm really happy with our cards, actually. We've got 22 cards. They're mostly really good. We will play a defend. So a well-laid plan so we can hold our cards for the most prudent opportunity to use them later. I think it is definitely on the list. Uh, and then apart from that, honestly like a letter opener. So that we can be incentivized to play more blocks. Uh, even in situations where it might not seem that important. Dude, thank God for Tori. We also want some footworks. So this is 12 poison, obviously. If we play this, we can get to the point where we're only taking one damage. If we play this, nine, you'll take that. I, I think we do want to put the poison. We take just the slightest bit of extra damage, like literally one, the slightest bit possible to make sure he's dead. Tori basically has us at 60 HP instead of like 45, so I'm, I'm real pleased. I think all that attack has been pretty solid for us. I'll take another one there. 85 gold for a relic. Always going to be nice. Okay. <laughs> we got four relics in, in very, very quick succession here. So what do we like? You always start here. You love to see that. Then I think... Um, let's... Uh, let's... Spend our Vulnerability Potion before we spend Terror, then see what attack we get. Out of all these, I think we'll take the easy way out and just go for the dash. And I, I really mostly like the free block out of that one. Now, I'm, I'm crunching the numbers. No, 23, so you're doing 21, you're doing 35 damage. Okay, this will leave us at 15. This will leave us at 7. We do this. We do take damage. We lose the perfect. But we take one damage to get really far ahead. And I know that's bad for score. But you know what's worse for score? Is playing... Uh, doing the wrong thing so that you have to rest over and over. Losing your maximum HP in the process. Compromising your ability to succeed in general. 18, so we will take one damage yet again. Th that's our, we're in like a holding pattern on this. And it's a good thing. It's a genuinely good thing. I think by being cowards, we're going to end up getting a leg up on the competition here by not putting ourselves in a terrible uh, position with respect to our HP. Pair is totally fine. And another catalyst works very well. You might think it's overkill, but to be able to... Throw something at an enemy and then hit him with uh, six poison or six times their existing poison is good stuff. Now, we'll take one damage no matter what. But one damage is, is not even close to being bad. We need to upgrade this, obviously. What are we not going to play? We're not going to play Catalyst. You're not dead. Which is really unfortunate, because we have zero blocks, but... It's alright. 60 HP is still pretty good. I would like to make sure he dies.
Oh, that's the good stuff. All right, so this is what you're looking for, basically. In a single turn, ruin this guy's life. No, no, no. None of this is necessary. All right, so we're going to hit you with the smith, of course. And I definitely think, you know, we got a lot of options, but Catalyst is a big one. Of course, we're going to be playing Noxious quite often, so it would be nice. Blood Vial, super good here as well. But it would be nice to um, upgrade that Noxious, but I don't think it's as critical. It's a great turn. Um, you weren't gonna live anyway, but let's make sure of that fact. Okay, Noxious will get him, but it'll take a bit. We'll take one damage in the process here. That's not bad, but next turn he's got the frailty. Love to see that work for free. It's another turn. Uh, well, I'm, I'm six tripled. It won't get us there. So this would be a good turn to block up. We want to take like a maximum of 12 damage. So I think we definitely start here. Then look. So we'll take... Playing this does nothing for us. So we actually do do it this way. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Playing this is... One energy for one block. By the way, I'm dumb. He's dead. I didn't run the numbers right. Um, why am I worried about it? Now, Sucker Punch is good, but I think we're the deck's in a good equilibrium right now. It's in a good balance. I think ensuring we have a dash in our hand basically means... That we have 20 block by default on turn one. And that's got me feeling real good about future prospects. Okay, what do you like? Definitely dash. So now we're taking zero. Should we kill you as well? Hmm, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> yes. We just need to survive this next turn. 7, 28 damage. That's a lot. Okay, so you might you might catch me on that one. I definitely would rather block here. You're going to hit me for 10. That's fair. You know, I, I deserve that. I was, I was being quite ornery. I killed your friend. I understand that. You're doing 8. You know what? It's a bit of a coward's play, but now we take one damage instead of more than one damage. And, you know, it's still no joke. He's still dead in two turns. That's what I'm telling you. That catalyst, even if it doesn't get you the lethal, it it is surprisingly, it's insidious. Crippling Cloud is close, I'll admit. But I think we have enough poison enablers, we don't need to worry about it. So I really want one of two things to happen here. I want to take no... And it, either one is fine. Because I don't have control over it either way. Either I want to take no more damage. So that Blood Vial gets us to a decent spot where we don't have to rest before the boss. Or I want to take enough damage that resting before the boss seems like the most prudent option. I just, I, I hate being, I hate having the choice. I hate feeling like the choice is what's going to determine whether or not it works for us. Uh, I mean, hold on, start here, then think about it. I think you still catalyze him. This guy shouldn't be a problem with nine poison on him by default. He is going to hit us for one. Big whoop. Blood vial heals for double that. Bane, I actually think we've removed so many basic attacks. I think adding a Bane is a good damage source for us, especially with something like Terror. Like, Terror is not doing much in the deck if we're not actually hitting enemies with it. Okay, with two energy remaining, I think you definitely go Noxious all-out attack. Then you just hope to get both Catalysts, like, right away.
obviously didn't happen quite the way I wanted. So I think we've well, we've gotten what we've asked for. We will rest, lose max HP to be at quote unquote full HP for the boss. Seems like definitely the right call. I actually think heal hook. I, I've been looking for that for a while. I mean, we healed the full anyway. Why did I care about Regal Pillow now that I think about it? All right, so be smart. Pop this. See what you're going to get. Definitely, I think an Invenom will do wonders for us here. And then keep that Ancient Potion in mind. So I'm dumb. You should definitely Terror this guy first. We do want to play Noxious. If we're going to play Noxious, I honestly think we should not play Dash. I think we should play Blur Strike Noxious. That way we have enough block to hopefully get a perfect on this turn. Now let's crunch the numbers. We need to put up 20 extra damage to take or 20 extra block to take zero. We can't. We can only put up 18. So we pop this. Now we can. What do we not play? Definitely Bane. Hold on. 22. 29. 16, 37. Yeah. Not Bane. All out of, I mean, Bane is also good, but all that attack probably puts these guys both in range to be killed next turn, hopefully. Plus, it puts a, a poison on each of them. It's very true. I still think we're going to take damage now that I look at it. Unfortunately. Um, are we, we have two Catalysts hanging out. Okay, so here's how you do this. You accept some damage will be taken. You kill one, for sure. You catalyze this guy, because he's going to be catalyzed again soon after. It's such a risk, because I'm like, we could definitely, we could guarantee Bouncing Flask will hit more if we all out attack first. But if it gets rid of Catalyst or Bouncing Flask, we'll be so disappointed. So you know what? We'll hedge our bets. Can't be mad about that. Three out of four hit him. All right, so he's dead before he can attack again. We didn't get the perfect, but we thought it through, and I think we we took a calculated risk that worked out really nicely for us. He's dead. Where are we going here? Uh, I think an Invenom is definitely... Because Catalyst is our win condition, you definitely go straight for Invenom. Okay. Um, we only play one... We play two powers. Big whoop. is not a concerning situation. I think we'll terror you. It's going to cost us six. So play this first. Let's get this out there. Okay. We have to play Noxious against these guys. Not worth it. Uh, we have to play Noxious against these guys. I'm sorry, I moved, I stretched a little bit, I moved far away. Because that's, Noxious is what kills them at the end of the day. And again, there's not really much reason to really throw anything at the wall here. We might as well just let him die. There's a few obvious things, by the way, we'd love to add. Like, if we could add a, um, a corpse explosion to this deck, we'd be over the moon. Maybe shouldn't have done that, because we do have Darkstone, but I, if I have a, let's be realistic, if I have a bad habit in this game, I have about a hundred bad habits in this game. But one bad habit, without a doubt, is definitely just not thinking about relics, just assuming that relics are always good. And it's almost always true, but it's not always true. Omamori is pretty much, it's the most likely use case for it to be not perfect, but... Okay, that, easy enough, for sure. Definitely, I mean, even with Venom, I don't think a Blade Dance is necessary here. We got a tight 26-card deck I can't be mad about. Um, so against this guy, what do you like? I think you have to get Noxious out there, so your Catalyst... Basically, if you get your Catalyst to pop properly, he'll never hit you again. There's no prize for, like, super overhealing here. But I think two turns of weakness is probably where we want to be, especially with Blur. Basically roll up a 25 block next time. Um, so Venom is very important. 
It doesn't really matter if you play anything else, but... So now, Catalyst. We got a Catalyst. I think... You're gonna do it like this. Had to make sure that he got enough poison to not cause us problems again in the future. And now he, he should, like, quite literally be no problem whatsoever. 111 poison on him. That's the power of this, you know, six times poison cumulative effect here. Easy. Alright. A little, a little spooky sometimes. Now, footwork is beautiful, but... I think because it's a power, that, that gives just enough hesita hesitation for me to not want to go for it. Thank you for just taking a basic strike out of my deck. That's beautiful. Um, in Venom being cheaper, I actually just don't think it gives us that much, as much as usual, because of the fact that we have enough energy anyway. But one extra poison? When you factor in the Catalyst, it's six extra poison, but... I don't know how much that's actually worth it in the long run. I, because we start with it, it felt right. That's, that's what I'll say about that one. So we'd like to... It's only 15 damage, okay. We'd like to um, kill you first. I, I actually would totally feel okay... using a potion to do it just to make sure that you get the poison on you that way if we draw both catalysts next turn you know i think you're dead we didn't draw both catalysts but 42 i'm just thinking you'll be on 80 i think we try to just make sure you're destroyed because another catalyst certainly kills you And we did get it. So that's another perfect. Added to the score. I think we're, we're hanging in there. Another backstab. I actually think we got more than enough space for it. For sure, I will, I will fight a boss from the first act. This guy... All bosses from the first act should be pretty simple for us. Just get as much block as possible. Um, because of the fact that basically our deck hinges around poison. So. I actually think it's totally worth hitting you with the... It, it looked like a bad draw, but to put 15 poison on him, it's not really 15 poison, is it? It's like, it's 51. I, I honestly... I don't love this, but I will do it. So he's got, I mean, nothing. Nothing will stop him here. Or nothing will stop me here, I should say. It does suck to get hit, but I don't know if the perfect actually matters on the on this one. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Stone Calendar strikes me as being absolutely okay. Bag of Prep is beautiful. We have so many innate cards. Um, now I'm looking at, like, cheaper in Venom, I think. But I also think, like, a better neutralize maybe is is good here. I'm still playing survival meta, you know? I, I should maybe be playing perfect meta, but I'm still playing survival meta. Now, we haven't played a blur, so we don't need to play a dash if we don't want. Bit of a weak turn, honestly, but... Oh, interesting. Not that great. <laughs> <laughs> but interesting. Maybe it is that great. We put him on 45 poison pretty quickly. It looks like we'll probably rest before our boss fight. Nothing wrong with that. Dude, that's a that's a rough turn here. 63. Just think it. I mean, it's 15, 15, 30 damage. I don't think it's going to kill him, so we might as well block up first. It wouldn't have killed him. 
even with the Envenom, unfortunately. Just bad optics. It's okay. We can throw in two rests if we have to. I actually like all that attack, but I think we're okay. You know, why not? There's so many good options. We Kunai is the better option. I I almost uh, I think I almost screwed myself out of a very very good relic there. Even though meat on the bone would also be great. I mean, we could die before the boss. That would be. It would feel bad. We we do have an Envenom in hand, so it's probably worth playing Envenom first. Then you start something off like this. Oh, it's pretty much exactly what you're looking for. Um, so all out attack plus a little bit more will probably kill you to begin with. We just want to get them into killable range first. And the extra dex here is exactly what you want to see. Blur means we're rolling 10 block over. Can't be too mad about that. Huge. Huge. And good potions. That's what I like to see as well. Good potions for the boss fight. This guy does not worry me. The only bad thing for this guy would be drawing a catalyst turn one. It's not impossible for it to happen. But as long as you draw a catalyst after turn one, preferably when he has at least like, I'd even say five poison is enough. As long as it's after that point, I think you got nothing to worry about. Always well, we start there. I mean, it, it's getting close to mathematical impossibility for him to hit us. It's now mathematically impossible for him to hit us. We'll still rest before the boss fight. Even with meat on the bone, we would have rested, by the way. Because it's never going to heal us, you know, beyond... Uh, beyond 50% of our max HP. Blood Vial will, but it'll take forever. That poison potion, by the way, you might look down on that. You might look at that poison potion and say, eh, who cares? That's, uh, that's 54 poison. Oh, okay. So what do you do? Well, you, you obviously bullet time first. Then you're going to invent him. You're, we're going to play both of our powers, for sure. This has to come out. Um, these guys have got to die. That's obvious. I don't think you play a catalyst early. I think you might even not play a catalyst until the awakened one has entered his second phase. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of torn on that one, though. So we're not playing a catalyst right now. This guy dies to uh, all out attack to begin with. So. We don't we haven't given anybody weakness, huh? That's that's a real surprise to me. This is still okay. You die. You get put in the, an awkward spot. You're doing 30 damage. We play all three of these. Not taking any. Now you're doing 36 damage. That's where we start to have a, a problem. <laughs> so we will take damage. The perfect is dead. That's okay. We could take very little damage. In fact, we're going to take very little damage by default. I'm just thinking about how we want to do this. I want to make sure you die. I think we should play... Forget about getting Bouncing Flash to hit him 100%. I think you just play it. And if it hits you, if it hits you with all of them, which you just did, oh well. You know what that means? That means you're not going to get to do your attack anyway. Even though it seems funky, we're only going to take two damage off of this, but we are going to lose two uh, plated armor. So what do we like? Well, it is possible to catalyst him. And I actually, now that I think about it, I'm like, maybe you want to catch him with a double. Like a one catalyst here, one catalyst on the next one. But I actually, I, I think that that's incorrect. Thank you, plated armor. 
I think we're just gonna let the timer tick up. We're doing enough poison damage thanks to Invenom. We might be making uh, a mistake in terms of uh, like strategic planning by using the catalyst in the second phase instead of the first phase, but I'm not honestly very concerned about it. We'll only take one damage off of this, which is nice. Because, you know, we already lost the perfect, as long as we're still in like, you know, win territory. Right, we should have done this very differently, but as long as we're in win territory, it doesn't matter. He's dead next turn, we're gonna be able to pop the poison on him. Might as well just maximize our block for next turn. So, you put the poison on him. You bullet time right away. I definitely think it's an acceptable catalyst. Should have hit him first and then catalyst. Oh, we couldn't have because the all-out attack would have uh, put us in a, an unusable position. We would have had to discard the catalyst. Basically, we draw a catalyst, he dies. He can't kill us. He can't kill us this turn. <laughs> I guess he could kill us in general. All right, we win. Good daily. Honestly, not a hard daily, so I'm assuming everybody's going to be around that score range. I think we're probably in the 800 to 900 range. 857, pretty much smack dab in the middle. It's a low score for a win, but it was a it was a thinking man's run to begin with, even if it wasn't hard. 66th place on a daily that's almost over. I'm a happy man. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps it a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya.